Hey guys, welcome to another Reaper blog tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how I like to take a song idea and kind of flesh it out into an arrangement. So we're just starting out with a four bar loop. I'm going to turn it into 16 or 32, where there's a bit of progression in the arrangement. All right, so let's listen to what we've got here to start with. So that's going to be kind of the chorus of the song, or it's the most dense part of the song where everything's going. Let's go through the tracks. Got an instance of Yuhi Repro. Just like this uh, deep bass PG-8X, an amazing free synth. So that's a legato style version of this one. Just a little arpeggio. Just kind of like a buzzy pad. I've got a reverb here. I've got a drum bus, gator reverb. Got a couple different kick drums. So this one is just like a big bang. Kind of like an 808, but not exactly an 808. And this one's just a little uh, thumpy one. Kick with some Gator Reverb on it. That's a, uh, I believe it's a Simmons kick drum. Hi-hats. I've got some cool stuff going on with parameter modulation of that. I'll probably show you that in another video. Uh, just an open hi-hat. It's really just white noise. A slap. It's almost a gunshot. A snare drum. And here's a toms. And these are uh, Simmons drums toms. Super 80s, super retro sounding, but I kind of love these. You've heard the tracks. Now um, I have a region around this kind of loop. I'm gonna grab that and command drag that to make a couple of copies of this. Make sure it goes right to the edge. And let's go eight times. I don't know if I'm going to use eight of them, but I've got eight. So I've selected everything and I've hit mute so I think this is what we'll start with, along with the kick, the first kick up to here, make your selection, hit unmute, and then here's the first, uh, first section of the song. That one's going to keep uh, being heard. The next section, I'm going to bring in the Majestic Synth. That's probably going to go to the end. Maybe I'll do these ones for this section. And then from there on, it'll switch to the other melody or um, arpeggio synth. So kick drum, may as well just keep the kick drum going through the whole track. Make sure we get all of those They're all unmuted. All right. Here's what we got so far. All right, so something else has to come in at that section, definitely. I'm thinking the hi-hats will come in from here on. So just select them. And I'm just hitting M on my keyboard to unmute the selected items. And I'm just dragging to create a time selection and item selection. So here we go.
Uh, let's bring in the toms as well. May as well. Yeah, let's bring in from bar three on, we'll have the snare and all the toms. Pretty much all of the drum kit. Yeah, let's let's do all the drum kit. All right, and then at this point, it gets to the other synth. And then maybe here, it switches to this one. Arpeggio dies out, and maybe even Majestic dies out there. We'll do something like that. I wonder what it's like without the hi-hat. All right, so there's a, a bit of variety. I've kind of shown you a few things that you can do with that. Basically just continue on doing that muting and unmuting things. And once you get to that point, you can figure out if you need to record more things or if you need to take a different direction with a, with a song, do lots of automation, more effects, all that kind of stuff. It's nicer to listen to it kind of as a song rather than just a repetitive loop. So that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. If you want to help out with making these videos, you can be a patron on Patreon. Send in a monthly donation and it really, really helps. And please visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.